After the workday is done, virtual reality enthusiasts meet in a San Francisco office space to play. They're trying out the latest immersive 3D experiences for the Oculus Rift. Many games are still in their alpha phase because the headset is so new, only available as a development kit, not yet for consumers. Adam Bruce is a partner at the event's host, the VR Lab. He says Facebook's acquisition of Oculus will secure virtual reality's place in the mainstream. When they were purchased by Facebook, it was probably when the development community really stood up and took note. A lot of investments started coming into the sector. Perhaps the bigger windfall reaction is when Google entered the market with the Cardboard VR. Cardboard VR is an inexpensive do-it-yourself virtual reality kit. San Francisco-based Dodo Case has also brought out a viewer. Placing special lenses over a smartphone and loading an app that displays 3D images creates a virtual reality experience on the go. It really is bringing virtual reality to the masses. It's a very accessible price point. It's going to be a way for people to have that first taste of virtual reality before they look at purchasing more elaborate systems. One of the areas virtual reality could profoundly impact is healthcare. James Blaha and Manish Gupta have created a VR video game to help treat lazy eye, where the brain favours one eye, leading to a loss of vision and depth perception. Diplopia is an asteroid-busting space game. It shows a different image and brightness to each eye. Only the weak one can see the rings, the strong one sees the spaceship, so a player must work both eyes in tandem to succeed. With the Oculus Rift, we can control every aspect of the image that's being sent to each eye. We can make it full 3D, um, immersive 3D, so with the head tracking, you can look all over the place. Diplopia is receiving interest from potential subjects for an academic trial. Blaha was himself born with lazy eye. After about 20 hours of gameplay spread out over five weeks, um, I went from having no 3D vision at all to having almost normal 3D vision. Of course, the Oculus Rift isn't the only headset on the scene. Sony's working on its own, Project Morpheus. Virtual reality may not have fully caught on, but it promises a future that's out of this world.